In this video, we look inside the downfall of the men who ruled the Cheshire drug trade. As 2020 began, Mark Cavanagh had much of the West Cheshire heroin and crack cocaine trade in his control and was making dirty money hand over fist. With a reputation for selling high quality products, more than a decade of experience and a knack for avoiding damaging underworld conflicts, the 30 year old seemed untouchable. In his own words, Kavanagh boasted to another crook that he quote, never stops grafting and has been at it for 15 years. The Wallasey native, sporting a distinctive mop of brown hair, controlled a network of safe houses across Merseyside and Cheshire. He had a crew of street dealers and couriers at his beck and call, and enjoyed the sense of confidence afforded by the supposedly impenetrable EncroChat handsets he and his associates used to source huge quantities of drugs from suppliers across the north. Although not notorious for resorting to violence or using firearms to protect his business, Cavana showed his ruthless streak on one occasion when he realised he was being watched and tried to run a car containing two undercover police officers off the road in his Jaguar. According to police officers and prosecutors, Kavanagh and his associates had the heroin and cocaine trade across Ellesmere Port and Chester, quote, sewn up, earning around £2.3 million over a matter of months. Kavanagh's success at raking in cash from addiction and misery on the streets had not gone unnoticed. Over time, intelligence on a prolific group of heroin and crack cocaine dealers in Chester and Ellesmere Port had been building at Cheshire Police, and Kavanagh's name came up regularly. The force's serious organised crime units were tasked with building a case against the highest ranks of a major organised crime group believed to be headed by Kavanagh. Undercover officers posed as heroin and crack cocaine addicts and made a series of 19 test purchases on two drug lines, one in Ellesmere Port, known as the Dark Line, and one in the Latch area of Chester, known as the Dell Line. Both operations were controlled through graph phones. Addicts would ring the phone to place orders with Kavanagh's inner circle who would then organise a drop-off between the customer and the dealer they controlled. As prosecutors said in court, those undercover officers became acquainted with street dealers and gathered further intelligence on the players higher up in the food chain. This would become known as Operation Olympia, which was well underway. The Cheshire SOCU were already gathering enough evidence to put Kavanagh and his crew behind bars for years, using tried and trusted methods when a treasure trove of intelligence opened up in early 2020. Unknown to Kavanagh or the detectives in Cheshire Police secretly tracking him, the remarkable trust high-level criminals placed in their EncroChat devices have been shattered. In what is now a well-known story, the network servers were hijacked by the French and Dutch authorities who shared what they found with the UK's National Crime Agency. After the news broke, detectives on Operation Olympia reached out to see if any of their targets featured in the vast quantities of data gleaned from EncroChat servers. After a couple of fruitful inquiries, SOCU officers found the answer they were looking for. Kavanagh was on the EncroChat network and the investigation was about to take on a whole new dimension. Chats on Kavanagh's EncroChat device included haggling over the prices of kilogram blocks of high purity cocaine, bought for in the region of £36,000 each. Venetic also introduced a new cast of characters to Operation Olympia. Wholesale suppliers who provided Kavanagh with vast quantities of heroin and cocaine and who boasted a network of international underworld contacts. It soon became clear that one name in particular was intimately involved with Kavanagh's Cheshire conspiracy. Heightened native Michael Halewood, then 51, had only emerged from prison in 2019 after serving half of a 22-year sentence for overseeing cocaine smuggling plots from a base in Amsterdam. After a decade out of the game, Halewood was keen to get himself a piece of the action and he had something that Kavanagh wanted. Jail, out of sight, out of mind. Messages recovered from Halewood's EncroChat handle, Cardinal Trunk, showed him bragging about his quote, little black book of underworld contacts across Europe and South America. It is not clear how they first became acquainted, but Halewood convinced Kavanagh to team up and became quote, Kavanagh's right hand man. Following the creation of the new partnership, Kavanagh appeared ready to take things to the next level. Messages captured him in conversation with Ellesmere Port-based wholesale drug supplier Dean Smith, aka Swapmaster, and 46-year-old Dean Anderson, aka Tendaya. Neither man had been on the radar of Operation Olympia before Venetic. Higher Bebbington-based Anderson posed as a seemingly legitimate businessman running a company called Bromborough Skip Hire, but he was already a well-established wholesale supplier. In messages later shared in court, an excited Smith tells Kavanagh about connections in South America seemingly attempting to persuade his business partner to join what would have been a huge conspiracy to flood the UK with Colombian cocaine. 
the evidence showed that these conversations were more than just empty bravado. An examination of financial transactions linked to Kavanaugh showed he had been wiring relatively small amounts of money to Bogota, Colombia from early 2020. Detectives believe he was possibly ordering samples of drugs, but it seems clear Kavanaugh and his business partners were making contact with major South American suppliers. In June 2020, after 10 months of painstaking surveillance, the Cheshire SOCU had built an overwhelming case against the men running the Dell and Dark Lines as well as the wholesalers Smith and Anderson. The strike day came on June 15, 2020, when coordinated raids hit addresses in Nelsmere Port, Whittle, Chester and Warrington. Street dealers, middlemen, prime bosses and wholesale suppliers all found themselves behind bars. Within days of the gang being taken out, Cheshire police also arrested five suspected drug dealers that had moved in, hoping to fill the vacuum of power left after Kavanagh's arrest. Kavanagh and his lieutenants on the Dell and Dark Lines were sentenced to Chester Crown Court in September 2020. Kavanagh was locked up for 14 years and 6 months for conspiracy to supply heroin and crack cocaine and dangerous driving relating to his attempt to run the undercover officers off the road in April that year. In March 2022, Halewood was also locked up, receiving 16 years after admitting conspiracy to supply cocaine. Anderson and Smith followed later that year in relation to drugs they supplied in cahoots with each other and also independently. Smith received 13 years in prison after admitting conspiracy to supply Class A and B drugs. Anderson pleaded guilty to conspiracy to supply heroin, cocaine and cannabis. He was sentenced to 14 years and 4 months.